I woke up today and thought to myself, today is a really good day to stop procrastinating. What's going on everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger and we are back at you again today with another Madden 23 Ultimate Team video. In today's video, we are finally adding a free 98 overall player to the No Money Spent Squad. Let's show you who it is. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, if you like it, if it helps you out, make sure you go ahead and click that thumbs up button. Shows a lot of support on the channel, helps the videos get noticed. Also, if you're brand new here, you were searching around YouTube for Mutt 23 content, whether it's how to make coins, how to get free players, how to build your Ultimate Team, you found the right channel for everything stay a while click that subscribe button turn that notification bell on as well so you guys are alerted when we drop additional videos let's get right on into it the day has finally come ladies and gentlemen i finally decided to complete my aka new class solo challenges and i procrastinated way too long on these it was funny i loaded into them today i just wanted to get my dailies out of the way and i said you know what let's get this done let's put out the video on it for no money spent and it wasn't that bad like i didn't have that many more to play and i'm kind of mad now that i put it off for like another two weeks so if i can find these solos here uh we finally maxed out all of the milestone stars and if you guys were unaware playing through all of these will earn you these aka new class tokens and once you earn all of them there's a bunch of coin rewards there's fantasy packs that give you cards uh, that you can use in other sets you can sell them on the auction house you can quick sell them for full training value once you max out all the stars and it will take you a while probably five to six hours in one sitting you're going to get enough of these new class tokens to build out a pack that gives you your choice of any of the aka new class players and back you know a long time ago this this program finished on march 27th so almost a month ago uh we did put out a video going over the best card to take out of the pack the one that i'm gonna go with i still believe is the best option here so let's go ahead and we're gonna make some other changes to the squad as well it's gonna get us closer to a 99 overall nobody spent squad i still think the card that we are taking out of here is still really the best choice out of all of the cards that you can choose from so if we go over to item sets aka new class most of you know how to do this by now but if you don't you're going to go to about the second row here and put those 36 tokens in this is a bnd card so it's a card you're stuck with you know for the rest of the year if you will you can always you know sell the card on the auction i'm sorry or you can always quick sell the card and take the training and do other things with it but at the end of the day um it's a card you want to pick a card that's probably going to last on your team for a while so the cards that came out early on are only 96 overalls we want to go to the end here where we got the 97s and 98s and there's some pretty good choices out here like this Cordero Patterson flash card is really good he's my starting running back right now Gregory Rousseau Groot really really good as well uh, but I really think Maniac is still the best option out here primarily because he gets the unstoppable force x factor so we're going to go ahead and utilize that but also he gets all 32 team chem so he's going to fit on any one of your theme teams out there and that's another reason why I'm picking him uh, left outside linebacker but we'll put him on our defensive line now I do have to go out and buy uh, two cards to power him up to his full capacity if I wanted to take advantage of all of the discounted abilities but I think in his case we really only need the first card uh, to power him up because you can get the unstoppable force without needing any cards to power them up so here it is right here for one ap this lights up at the start of a game and, and it maintains itself i think for five plays goes away for a little while and comes back it's the best way to get pass rush right now in the game so that's probably the only ap i'm gonna spend on this card he does get run stopper for zero ap in one of these two buckets so we we might eventually unlock that but for now we're just gonna leave this as is and we will go ahead and, and throw him in the lineup here in a moment but we actually made one one other purchase for upgrades for today's video and uh, it's another aka card and it's a punter so this is the only place that i can show you the proof of all the cards that i purchased uh but basically we bought a part we bought enough cards to go out there and get the scottish hammer uh the aka punter and one of the things i had to do you might notice we bought a lot of these uh cards for like 12,000, 11,000 coins to get his 93 overall sorry his 90 yeah his 93 overall to build out his set that card is like 145 150k so i had to build out uh, and buy a bunch of i think it was 88 overalls to build out a set that gave me a pack 
that gave me a 93 overall card fantasy pack where we got to pick it. The rest of the cards we paid like roughly around 60k for for the 93s to complete the Scottish Hammer Punter set here. And we do have the pack. I probably should have completed the set on the video, but we do have the pack here that's going to give us this card. We also had to buy his 88 overall card so we could power him up all the way. And from what I'm thinking is going to happen here, if you guys didn't know, this card actually provides like additional boosts. I'm thinking that this card is going to make my offensive line better and primarily my right tackle will jump up from a 98 overall to a 99. So let's go ahead and use his power up path here and get him all upgraded and situated. We're going to throw him in the lineup as well and uh, we'll be one step closer to a 99 overall. If you are unaware, you need a 99 overall defense, offense, and special team. So that's kicker and punter. And this card itself won't jump up to a 99, but um, there are there is a kicker out there in Greg Zerline that eventually will get reduxed and be a lot cheaper than he is right now. And I believe having those two cards as your kicker and punter will both make them 99 overalls. He has, you know, some zero AP abilities, but I, mean, I don't punt the ball often, if at any time at all. So it, I don't think it really matters. This is more so for overall purposes. We're certainly going to get an upgrade. I think our current punter right now is a 91 overall. And through playing those solos, we also got two more of those 90 overall, aka fantasy packs. I kind of didn't think about this as I was saying it, but if Shaq Leonard is one of these choices, which I think he might be, well, then we got ourselves the piece here. Uh, is he? There he is. So we do have ourselves the piece to power him up on that first step to get run stopper for zero AP, and we don't have to spend any coin to do so. We get a second one of these packs, which we will likely just go ahead and quick sell the card here for training, and we should have some things to quick sell at the end of the video. I'll just pick Shaq Leonard twice, uh, but we should have some things to quick sell at the end of the video as well to boost up that training though at this point tvp odds are so bad the titanium pack which is available until tomorrow and i'm sure we'll be back this, this upcoming weekend the odds on those packs and the the price increase on them is so bad that at this point i, I think i'm just going to save my training for when golden tickets come out or maybe you know a future promo down the road maybe even a rookie premiere to get us set up for no money spent on madden 24 but we don't need to focus on that right now what we need to do is remove this black history month shack Leonard off the team we're going to keep Nolan Smith because he can get 32 team chems and he'll get that Eagles chem for us and Shaq the maniac Leonard is now our outside linebacker on the left side which is a 99 overall we'll just go ahead and move Nolan Smith to the back here let's go ahead and power him up put him in the lineup hopefully I'm correct and only needing this 190 overall card to get to the the run stopper for zero AP because that's all I really care about and I was incorrect so I think at this point, I'll leave it here. Eventually, maybe I'll go out and get another card, but I don't want to spend a necessary coin right now. Run Stopper is a pretty solid ability, um, but we're just not going to do it now. Maybe in the next video. Um, and we'll go ahead and activate the Maniac Unstoppable Force. We got, do we have enough? We don't have enough AP to do so. So somebody's got to get the axe here and lose some AP. Looks like it's going to end up being Khalil Mack, who right now is a pass rusher for us, but won't be now that we have this Maniac card. So we'll be making some adjustments to our specialist screen as well. And that gets us all situated there. So now if you look at the defense, right outside linebacker, left end are the only two positions on defense without a 99 overall. And we got ourselves a new punter, as we explained. So let's go ahead and remove him from the lineup and put our new punter in there. And I want to go back over to the offense and see, because, um, again, this card apparently boosts other cards on offense. Uh, is our right tackle a 99? And an, it is not. So that didn't do exactly what I wanted it to do. And that's because I was totally wrong and got him confused with, I think it's Teron Armstead that boosts the rest of your offensive line. Or maybe it's the Greg Zerline card. This one actually only increases um, attributes on your linebackers and defensive line. But you know what? Did that get Quay Walker to a 99? It still did not. It still didn't matter. It doesn't matter at this point. We got another 99. We got ourselves a 97 overall punter, and the team is looking a little bit better now. So that was really it. And the main thing we were going to do in this video, I don't got much for you other than that. We're going to kind of wait for new content that comes out this week. The schedule should be coming very soon. Uh, but we can go ahead and quick sell some items in our binder we got rid of nate davis in the last episode never quick sold him we got a few of these mission muck cards left over but we're not going to end up needing those um and some just random elites that i think came from like you know various free packs there and that's about it we'll save all our golds for the next competitive pass and we got ourselves 90k training not too bad so we're over 100k training when it comes to the amount of coins that we have right now we got 
1.6 almost 1.7 mil that we are allowed to spend and there's not too many uh, other upgrades we need to make right tackle obviously we've talked about that but i'm not going to go spend a ton of coin on that position and then uh i eventually want to upgrade like wide receiver two and get godwin out of here but because he's a, a ltd he's going to maintain a lot of that value and, and we can go ahead and get you know like 350 back from him and th that allows to make a bigger upgrade at wide receiver number two so we need a right outside linebacker a left end and we'll be working on getting a 99 overall kicker uh but that's pretty much it for now like i said we'll wait for part two of the draft promo weekly wild cards tomorrow we'll have some more free packs to open up very soon but that's it thank you guys so much for watching another episode my name is popular stranger and i'm out peace